This is going to be a very interesting share for sure. The video that I am about to share with you was originally posted on YouTube September 25th, 2015. Many of you who have been rocking with me for years may have already seen it and some of you more than likely have not. But that's not really the point. The point is I received this email message YouTube removed your content. Of course, before I open it, I meditated to make sure it's legitimate because you guys know what happened before. I got an email similar to this before and all of my accounts were hacked and shut down and I had to go through a lot of crap to get my channels reinstated. But I clicked on it and it stated, Hi, Astro Boo Baby. We wanted to let you know our team reviewed your account and we think that it violates our violent or graphic content policy. We know you may not have realized this was a violation of our policies, so we're not applying a strike to your channel. However, we have removed the following content from YouTube. People catching fire from within and incinerating. Time it occurred. You can see an example around 3 minutes and 43 seconds in your video. While this is one example, there may be other instances. We've realized that this may be disappointing news, but it is our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. If you think we've made a mistake, you can appeal this decision. You'll find more details below. What our policy says. Violent or graphic content that's intended to shock or disgust viewers isn't allowed on YouTube. Now, when I read that right away, how can they know what the content maker's intent is? That's number one. Let me continue to read. This may include footage, audio, or imaginary involving war, terrorist attacks, aftermath, or other similar scenarios. We may make Limited exceptions for content with educational, documentary, scientific, or artistic context. Now, when I made that video, my intent was to bring attention and awareness on a proven scientific fact. And the images that I used was in the Google search engine. It's searchable by anyone. I was not intending to shock or disgust anyone. I don't make content in that way. I worked very, very hard and invested long hours. And you guys know I don't get paid. I don't make money. They don't pay me. So what reason would I have to create content to shock and disgust the audience? These are actual photos of images of people who spontaneously combust but that's not all let me let me continue so of course I appealed it so on the appeal all it gives you is the option to click that you appeal the decision there's no option to explain your perspective explain your intent your intent the purpose nothing so I clicked on the option to appeal and then I got a notification stating that I will be notified within 72 hours. Here is what I got in less than 72 hours. We've reached a decision on your appeal. And it says, Hi, Astro Blue Baby. We have reviewed your appeal for the following. Video, people catching on fire from within and incinerating. We've reviewed your content carefully and have confirmed that it violates our violent or graphic content policy. We know that this is probably disappointing news, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. Now, again, it does not impact my, uh, my content, but for me, there's a principle here. And let me further explain to you why. Because you do not have to look long or search hard to find many videos talking about spontaneous combustion and these are channels with millions of followers, millions of subscribers, reaching far more people. Not only do they have multiple images, like what I had in my video, in their videos, but they have an image of uh, that violates, uh, according to them, violates their terms of use as the thumbnail. Now, 
when you click on I clicked on this particular video and when you click on it it shows an option for the viewer to proceed now if you guys look at my original video which was posted almost nine years ago this year I put a warning at the very beginning of the video for the same reason now mind you I posted my video way before they put this policy into motion so what I want to know is why does it seem that YouTube selectively enforce these policies on some and not others because from my perspective and given all the the mess I've been dealing with and the unfairness and the suppression and the shadow banning I've been dealing with on this channel, they are showing extreme prejudice and bias. This is my honest opinion, and I have a constitutional right to speak it as I see it. And many of you guys have seen and have said the very same thing. And last but not least, they speak of violence, showing violence in the video or terroristic threats and all this kind of stuff. There is no violent depiction anywhere in this video. These are real pictures of people remains after a spontaneous combustion. So I don't see how that violates their guidelines and their rules, given that this is a scientific fact and that these are real images that did not involve violence that's easily accessible by anyone right through their most popular search engines. It does not make sense. So now with that out of the way, you now know why I had to repost this video. I am going to block out all of these images, but I reposted this video because this video is a true labor of love. And again, I invested a lot of man hours and time producing this content, not getting anything in return. And it is very disappointing and very disgusting to see how these people selectively enforce their, their rules and their policies and not giving content makers equal access, equal playing field, and equal opportunity to be seen and heard. Now with that out of the way, if you have not seen this video proceed, and even if you have already seen the video, watch it again and help it get back up into circulation. And one more thing, if my channel or any of my content happens to disappear, remember I am on Odyssey. All of my content is backed up on Odyssey.com. They have a blockchain system whereby a video cannot just be taken down by one person or one group, which is why I decided to use them as a backup. And they back up my content as I upload it in real time. What is spontaneous human combustion? Spontaneous human combustion refers to the severe burn or even death from a fire originating without an apparent external source of ignition. The fire is believed to start within the body of the victim. And according to Larry E. Arnold, there have been around 200 cited reports of spontaneous human combustion worldwide over a period of around 300 years. Well, first of all, I wanted to say, compared to the general population and the history of humanity, is rare, but at the same time, it is more frequent than we think. It is just that it is underreported because there is really no science or no forensics to truly measure it and label it as such, meaning when and if the fire department goes to a house that has been engulfed in flames and there's someone on the inside, they're not going to present the cause of fire is spontaneous combustion. 
they'll tie it to something that is measurable or they will simply say that the cause of fire is undetected. Now, why am I talking about spontaneous human combustion at this time? Number one, this month as we enter into another, what I call, acceleration point, it dawned on me that the reason why this has been on my mind to talk about for a while is because as the current of life accelerates and more people become sensitive to their environment, particularly those of us who are what we call anchors for the Christ energy, we will feel deeply. Many of us are dealing with severe depression because we're taking on the sadness and the hurt and the pain of others. Many of us are seeking things to basically calm ourselves, drugs and alcohol. And based on my revelation, one of the cocktail factors in these events such as spontaneous human combustion and it's very real is alcohol when one is drinking a lot of hard liquor in conjunction to being one who is incrementally anchoring in these high vibratory energies on top of having blockages in our chakras or if a chakra stops functioning or spinning as it should on top of the acceleration of the current of life, all of this combined could, could give rise to more spontaneous human combustions. The question then becomes, should this happen? How often will we recognize it as such? Now take a look at these pictures. As you can see, for the most part, a great deal of the physical body has been incinerated, but there's parts of the body that's completely left intact. How is this possible? Even though the physical body is mostly water, a body that is filled with heavy liquor and one who is miscalculating an anchoring of a Christos or Christos wave energy sparked an ignition and the accelerant is and was the alcohol. Think of it as if someone who walks into a building and there's heavy gas fumes in there and they take two rocks and they smash both those rocks together and create a spark. Well, that will be enough to cause an explosion. This is what happens in the physical vessel when a being who is an anchor for Christ's energy is faltering to maintain a healthy and balanced vessel. And so when there is a falter and a miscalculation of anchoring of this high vibratory energy, it creates a spark on a subatomic level in conjunction to all of the alcohol in the body, this is what causes it. However, the parts of the body that remains perfectly intact, there is most likely a lot of water there. The alcohol is not in abundance in those particular areas. And in many of these cases, the fire catches on to other areas in the house in the most unusual way. I'm not going to go into details about that. I'm going to put some links underneath this video if you guys are interested. Once again, we have to be mindful of the time that we are in. We must be mindful and be very conscious of always striving for balance, especially those of us who are very sensitive. I'm talking about those of us who are empaths, those of us who can feel very strongly and very deeply. And especially those of us who do not have high levels of melanin. Melanin is a perfect conductor. The higher the melanin, the less we have to be concerned about instantaneous combustion. When you look all throughout history, we will see that these things affect people who are operating a vessel that we would classify as Caucasian. These are very strong risk factors that I need 
us all to be mindful of. Because again, as the currents of life accelerate and as the Christos energy fills the planet and as more of us anchor more of these energies, we have to strive for balance to avoid these kind of events. Although there will be some of us who will choose this method of vacating our physical vessels. So some of this throughout history has been miscalculation on top of uh, high alcohol usage and depression and chakras being out of balance. But some people purposely anchored in the energy to abandon their respective visions. Since the Christ energy is a major catalyst, or shall I say spark, in this regard, I feel a need to express a little more about this energy and its powerful frequency. The word Christ is the Greek word that means anointed, but here I am not using this term in a religious context. I'm using it in a metaphysical text. Hence, those who are chosen to be vessels for the anchoring of the Christos energy was designated before birth, thus making them a symbolic and metaphysical collective body of Christ frequency and energy. And when I speak about the Christ energy, I'm not speaking in terms of religion, but a Christ being really is anyone who comes in and generates a strength and courage and empower a vessel that is strong enough spiritually to handle these energies which comes from a much higher, much faster vibratory realm of existence. So in order to incrementally transform ourselves in this world, we need transformative energies to do that. But again, this must be incrementally and carefully done. And if there is a miscalculation, we can become the equivalent of a mini nuclear bomb, which is another reason why when these miscalculations happen, the vessel has to totally be destroyed and the energies that's operating that vessel must abandon it. You see, and this is another testament of how powerful we really are. We have to be mindful of what we put in our bodies, our state of mind, especially now as things are accelerating on every level. Alright, that's it for now. Thank you so much for this time.